guys, welcome back to another episode of Stone Block 2. I'm your host, Renovate, and today, guys, we're going to get into some draconic evolution. But first, let me show you something. You make this draconic evolution. Let me fix my mic here for a second. I made this uh, draconic evolution tablet, and I click on it, and it comes up with an error. So, I'm not quite sure. If I go down here, it says reload documentation. It goes to fetch it, and can't fetch it. If I go to this website address, there's nothing there. So I don't know what to do. So I think I remember how to build it because it hasn't been too long ago since we actually did build it. And I am going to go ahead and attempt it. So first of all, I have been um, making patterns for, let's go over here to, oh, actually wrong one, this one here. I made uh, patterns for these things right here, okay? And I made all the patterns for this stuff here, but I cannot make this stuff because it requires one of these per crafting recipe. So if I wanna make 100 of these, it's gonna look for 100 of these. So that doesn't work. So these are basically pointless. Um, I went ahead and made, didn't mean to click that. I went ahead and made um, this. This is the nether star plant, okay? And I hooked up the imaginary time block and a plant interactor because all this does is it picks it. It doesn't really um, uh, kill it. I'll show you what happens here. Let me turn this on and we'll turn this on. I'll show you how fast this is. So you can see that it goes pretty fast. <laughs> but you can also see that my uh, frames per second drop significantly. Okay, so this is not a good machine for the server. Um, this should shut down. It should. I thought I shut it down. <laughs> is that off or is that on? It says off. But why is it still growing? Why is it still growing like that? It's still picking it too, isn't it? Always active. There. Okay. So there we go. So now my, is it off? I think it's off. Yes, that's off. Okay. So yeah, that, um, that was making me some nether star shards and then those nether star shards can be made into nether star something else. And then finally nether stars. So I can randomly make uh, nether stars now instead of going through this operation, which this is fine because I've been getting a lot of, um, uh, I've been getting a lot of these loot chests, especially these legendary ones and this stuff and this stuff and this and these and if we shift click this we will get this is basically what i get every single time now these tier threes and uh some dark matter which i don't mind uh, we need some dark matter so i am going to put all that stuff back in here boom 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 and this and these things there and that and then i think i can throw these in here like this Yep. Okay, cool. So, uh, so yeah, I want to go ahead and try to make the energy ball. That way we have something to put all our energy in. And I'm thinking about putting it right here, but I do need to count how many blocks there are to the ceiling. So let's grab, let's just grab these blocks here and see. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven blocks okay so if i go here and here that's the center okay so let's break these okay and then so i think that is where we end up putting the core if i don't if i remember correctly so if we go to add draconic uh this is, i already made some of this stuff guys so i think that's where we end up putting the Core. So these are the pylons that go on the side, and this is the core that goes in the middle. Okay, so I think we put this core in the middle. So we'll go ahead and put that. Um, uh, let's put it one block up, and so that will give us a what two block high stabilizers invalid uh, builder's guide active tier. That's a tier two. Okay, and then what about a tier three? It's a tier three. 
And a tier three holds what? Tier three holds, I don't know. What about a tier four? Okay, let's do the tier four for right now. I think that would probably be good for right now. I don't think we're gonna need that much more uh, than that. So let's go ahead and get a bunch of redstone blocks. Um, I will go ahead and grab like a couple stacks of these and then let's get redstone, okay? And let's do this and then let's do a stack. I don't know how many we need. Um, and then, so I need to put these, uh, like here, here, there. So basically a cube around it. Okay. I, I'm with you. All right. Uh, I like how that like disappears so you can actually see it. Okay. Whoops. That's the wrong one. Let's get rid of that, which should be okay. And then there, 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 and there. And then we just got this one over here wrong. So we need to delete that one and then put this one there. Bring them. And then what? <laughs> I guess that's it. Okay. So, um, okay. So let's come out here and then I know that we're going to need energy pylons okay so and the energy pylons can go on the outside like this one two three four we'll put an energy pylon here and actually i want to put the energy pylon above it and i'll show you why so we'll put energy pylon um here and then here and then we'll break this and then we'll go uh, one, two, three, four, five, one on top. All right. And then we'll go like this. All right. And then if I click on this, does it, whoops. If I click on this, does it tell us anything? No, it still doesn't tell us anything. Um, I think I need to put glass on it now. Actually, you know what? I need the stabilizers. These things, don't I? Energy core stabilizers. Yeah. So let's make some more of these. Um, I don't remember if I have that in our current recipe or not. Do I have these? No, I do not have these as a buildable object. Okay, that's fine. So let's go to at draconic. Uh, at dracon. Um, I do have another one left. Let's go ahead and make a couple more. So these require these. These require that. Uh, I need some more um, of that. Okay, so I made a compactor. The only thing that, I, that is in the pack that allows us to get... Um, actually, I didn't even need to come over here. The only thing that in the pack that allows us to get um, blaze rods, other than chickens, when I don't want to do chickens is uh, compacting blaze powder but it's not a very efficient way of doing it so if we do this it's like five blaze powder per rod which kind of sucks so we'll have to do that um i'm just gonna set these i'll just keep these in my, in my inventory for right now so i need these two stabilizers i think i'm gonna put um, I tell you what, uh, I, I'm going to, I'm going to take a second. I'm going to go look at the, the, um, terms, or I don't want to say terms. I want to go look at what the guidelines are for a tier four, since my, uh, little tablet doesn't work. And I want to make sure we got this set up right. So I'll be right back. So the tier four does require four of those. I just looked it up. So we do need to make, um, let's put these in here. Let's go back to add draconic. Draconic, and then click on these, and then these, and that gives us, there's the two, okay, and that should give us the four that we need, so there's four, okay, so that's good there, and so I need to put these probably, um, I could put them, let's see, do these go on the four corners? I think they do, now that I think about that. 
I think these go in the four corners. So one goes there. Uh, one goes here. And then here. And then here. Oops. All right, so. Let's break all these. And then activate. There we go. So there's our ball. That's kind of cool. So I'm going to get a quick screenshot. Do it like this. Boom. Whoops. No, oh, no, no. Boom. There we go. And then I think if... Um, if it's above the ball, you put glass on the bottom. I think that's how it goes. So let's see if that's true. They will activate automatically if that works. So let's put this here. All right, and then this one here. All right, and then I think you just click on it with your, let's see, shift click. I think we need a wrench though, don't we? That's in, and yeah, I think we need a wrench. Let's see here. There we go. You click the ball. Okay. So this is one of them is the input. I'll need to make a flux plug to figure that out. So let's go ahead and make a flux plug. Let's go ahead and put all this stuff in there. Boom. Uh, if we get a chance, if we need to, I should say, um, we will make a larger version of this. Okay. So the, but that will come later on. So let's go to, uh, I need to go to Xnet. All right. And there here is a flux point and we're going to need a flux plug. So we don't have the stuff to make the plug. All right. So we need to make some more of this, All right? And some more of this. All right. And then these. Excuse me, and then flux. Wait, what the frick just happened? Whoops, did it again. Flux plug, bam, and then the flux plug. Okay, there we go. So we got a flux point and a flux plug. The flux plug is what puts power, uh, takes power out. So I think, if I remember correctly, the flux point. This should be power going in, but I think it's actually the opposite. I think. Let's check on this. No, that's actually putting power in. That's pretty nice. Okay, so we will not limit this to any certain power. And this is throwing power in at 536,000 R of a tick. <laughs> Holy crap. All right, so I think this thing holds, yeah, 9.8 gig. So basically 9 billion RF that's not very much um I guess that's okay though yeah we just slowed down so we're at 50,000 RF a tick so that didn't go up at all okay so we might just have to make a uh, something else to generate power which is fine at least I have somewhere for all our power to go so this is going up uh 3000 RF a tick which isn't bad so maybe the next thing that we could possibly make would be the reactor. Uh, do we have big reactors in this pack? Actually, let's look at what quest did we unlock. We unlocked this one here. Click that, double capacitor. Um, yeah, let's take a look at that real quick. Um, put those away and that away. Do we have extreme reactors in this pack? If we do, we do have extreme reactors in this pack. Okay, and I can fill it with gelid cryothium, which is great. I just don't have anything to feed it for fuel, which would need to be plutonium. And the way to get plutonium is to make cyanite. And we would have to come up with a way of getting cyanite other than this we have we could make the the plutonium chickens we have the water chicken we'd have to make the cyanide chicken so i'd have to spend some time doing that is there another way that we could fuel this um cyanide dust comes from cyanide ingots so we don't have um what about uranium what does 
can we make let's go to uranium and see uh uranium if i smelt this do i get any other byproduct from it um it doesn't appear so uranium ingot can make blocks of uranium so it doesn't look like there's any way of getting plutonium or yellowrate, I should say, or yellorium, whatever. Because we're not even getting yellowrate from like our sifting processes. Um, so yeah, that's probably what we'll have to do. I don't think that there is a cyanide cow. Let's look at cows. We can go down here. We have, I did this one because I knew this is what we'll probably need to cool the reactor. Um, so here's crystalline. Um, yeah, so I am not seeing like Eulorium. There might be one in here. Just not seeing it. Melodic. There's, there's that. Copper, molten brass, aluminum. Uh, crude steel. Zephyr and erythrium, whatever that is. And then, yeah, so there is none in here. And we did all the chickens. So, is there a yellow rate cow? It doesn't seem like. And there's not a plutonium cow. We could, oh, I don't think there is. We could try. We can yellow rate. Um, there is a yellow rate chicken. A eulorium chicken, I should say. But there is no eulorium cow. Is there a plutonium cow? Plutonium. There's a plutonium chicken, but no plutonium cow. So, that's probably what I'll have to work on. Uh, in between episodes. I think there's going to be one more thing that we're going to make this episode just for fun. Just for fun, okay? Uh, because this is going to help me get that chicken right away. So we are going to look up. Um, let's go into... Um, let's see, what mod is that under? I think it's cyclic. And... No, 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 no. It's not. It's... Uh, um, Project E? Yes, Project E. So we are going to make the fun thing now. So it is called the Flowing Watch of Time. And if you remember through uh, Stone Block 1, that was one of my favorite things to get. And we're going to make it again. So I need to make a red matter block. So we need to make lots of red matter. Do we have enough to make that? No. Um, so I need to craft a bunch of this stuff. Okay, so... If I click this and click this and press A, that way we have it over here. Um, do I have enough to make that? No. So can I go to uh, see it misses five of them? So it won't let me do that. So that sucks. Um, so let's do this. We already know what the recipe is. We have the philosopher stone. Let's go in here and type in coal. All right. And we got 21,000 of them. So we're going to go like this. I am going to, uh, let's put all our stuff down here, like so, and then I'm going to fill this inventory up with that stuff, okay? I'm going to click, oh, I didn't want to do that. Uh, I need that stone back. Stone, bam. And then we're going to put this here, 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 and here, and then we're going to go like this, bam. Uh, uh, uh. Here, let's just put all these in the system. All right, we're gonna go bam, 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 bam. Create all those, okay. Then we're gonna put these in here. Put those up there. So that gives us all of those, okay. And then, so the next thing we're gonna need is, uh, let's go back to at project. So here's the watch. In order to make that, we need to make that. In order to make that, we need to make that. So there, we need to make four of these. Okay, there's four of those, two more, there's two, probably going to need to make a couple more, and, oh, so we are going to make, need to make two more, okay, so do we have enough to make, yeah, we do, I think, um, yeah, let's see, four, I hope we do, we have seven, so I'm missing the red matter, okay, so that is not an issue. Let's go ahead and take these out of the system so I know how many we have. And that, okay. And then can I craft these? No, it's saying we're gonna miss that, okay. So let's go back into this. 
Okay, let's go back to coal. It's actually right there. Okay, let's make a bunch of this. Okay, and then we'll put, oh man, I keep doing that, stone. And we'll put the stone back here, bam. And then we'll just go like this. And let's put this all back in there. Go like this, all right, and then go like that. And I think all we need after this step is uh, diamond blocks, if I remember correctly. So let's try diamond, put the diamond blocks in there, and this should make red matter. Yes, it does. Okay, so uh, let's do that. That makes two. There's nine. We'll keep those. Okay. And then um, I am going to need to make... Uh, let's see, three there. Yeah, that's enough. Okay, so there's our eighth one. Okay, cool. So that should give us enough to make the, the watch. At least the watch. That, and then I need to make this. That's good to go. And then I need to make two of these. One, two, and then we should have everything we need. Uh, oh, we forgot to make... Here, we forgot to make this. There, there, there we go. So we got the red matter blocks. Okay. And now we can make the flowing watch of time. Cool. So the other thing that we need to make in order to get the this to actually sit still is called the pedestal. So let's, let's see what it needs to make the pedestal. We actually need to type it up here because my computer's stupid. Pedestal, uh, pedestal, pedestal. There we go. And that's going to require dark matter blocks. Okay, so we're going to need to make, uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 20 blocks of matter and four more blocks of that. Okay, so we can do that. I think we have enough to do that. So if I do this, this is going to give us two of them. All right, so and this is going to give us one block. So I need to do that a couple more times. So let me do that real quick. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I don't know if I am going to have enough to do this. I might have to go jumpstart my chickens a little bit. Uh, we might have enough. I'm not sure. I need to make... There's one of these that'll give us... Oh, I didn't need to do that. Let's go take this back. Um, crap. Is there a way to get... Oh man, can I get dark, can I get mo or Eternus Fuel back out of dark matter? I don't think I can. I just wasted all that. Dark. Let's go to dark. Dark matter. Uh, dark matter pan, dark matter. I don't think I can reverse the recipe. No. I cannot. Okay, so that's fine. Um, all right, so I needed... Um, no, that's not what I need. What? How do we get that? I forget. Um, is it this and then this? Okay, so that's how we get it. Okay, so we might be okay then. I just need one more of these. Bam. Actually, I need two more. So I think we might be good. I think we got the pedestal made, guys. If we do this, and then this, I think we have the pedestal made. So if I go up here to pedestal, pedestal, and I go like this, we do. Oh, cool, sweet. So I got this made, so that's going to help us get some of these chickens done this would also help me get whatever else we need so i am actually going to put this right here we're going to get this out and click that oh no i don't do that nope no 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 let's set this to fast forward there we go click on that then fast forward it okay cool so now i can boost chickens and if we go back and look at the plutonium chicken Let's go to plutonium. Uh, this right here. It says we need a water chicken and a cyanide chicken. 
Uh, I have the water chicken. Cyanite is Eulorium and sand. Eulorium is ender pearl and glowstone. So if I take the uh, glowstone chicken, which is right... Um, where is it? There's our glowstone. We got one more. Here's glowstone chicken. And was it ender pearl chicken? Is that what it said? Let's do this. Bam. Bam. Uh, bam. Yeah, so if I throw these guys in there... We should get a Eulorium chicken, eventually. There's one. I just need two. All right, let's keep moving. And there, that's all we needed. We needed two there. And if I do these two here, and then I go grab some of these, I can put some of this in there. Now, this looks like it's going really slow, right? But I can also accelerate it with this. So that's basically doubling the speed, I think. Yeah, it's going faster. So I will do this. This is going to give me some Eulorium chickens uh, that will need Eulorium and sand. I have sand right there, and so that will give us uh, the Plutonium chicken. So cyanite, I mean, that will give us the cyanite chicken, and then I'll just mix those two with the water and we'll get Plutonium. So I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine. So that's going to be today's episode, guys. I think next episode we'll build a reactor. And then uh, we will... Uh, oh, oh, real quick, real quick. All right, real quick. Er, put on the brakes, guys. I went ahead and started making the extreme crafting table. And this is the beginning um, of the transmutation tablet, just so you know. So one of the reasons I wanted to build this was so that we could get into the infusion crafting, which I'm going to set up right here. And but we need we need some we need some power, okay? So we'll probably do our reactor next episode. I will I might try to go ahead and make all the reactor components ahead of time, and then we'll put the reactor here, and then maybe do a maybe get it in the same episode. We'll have to see. Uh, but that's why I wanted to get that. So now, thank you for watching, and if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. I will love you forever. And then also hit the like button. Leave me some comments or suggestions. I'm enjoying your guys' comments. I love replying to them. And I make sure you hit the little bell. And that's about it. I'm going to go put this chicken away. See ya.